for the Riders Block, our weekly look at all things sports. I'm Jenny Carlson here in the studios of the Oklahoma, joined by Cedric Golden in the studios at the Austin American Statesman. Hello. What's up, Jen? Hey, lots of football. We're still knee deep in it, even though the college games have hit a bit of a break here after the conference championship games. The college football playoff has everybody talking. That was the big point of discussion over the weekend. Who was in? Although, Cedric, by the time it became time for the committee to make its selection. I think everybody knew the four that were in. I think we all knew it was going to be LSU, Ohio State, Clemson, and Oklahoma after some losses by other teams. But the order, the order was very much up in the air. Any surprises in your mind, Cedric, that it was LSU one, Ohio State two, Clemson three? Uh, well, I think that I would have probably gone with Ohio State one before the Big Ten championship game. They struggled in that game, and Wisconsin got after them early. So that gave the CFP committee a reason to move LSU up. LSU has been really dominant for most of the year. That is a that is one hell of a team. Joe Burrow's the best player in the country, and uh, I, I'm, I'm fine with them at one. Uh, I think, I think they wanted to set up a Clemson LSU finale, the CFP, and mm. they didn't want them meeting in the first round. That's one man's opinion, and that's why I think OU got thrown, thrown to the SEC dogs. But guess what? I'm sure Lincoln Riley's called Tom Herman, and he's probably called Todd Orlando because Todd Orlando didn't have anything to do today. Yeah. So and said, so, how did you get after Burrow early in that game? Yeah. Because Texas did give them all they could handle until the end of that game. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, and OU is very much sort of an afterthought. You know, a lot of years uh, when the college football playoff selection is done, you start with number one, and the question is who's in at four? This year, because we knew who was in, they started at four and went up because that was the question. Who is going to be in that top spot? Who's going to be in the second spot? And it's interesting that, you know, the debate was really around LSU and Ohio State, but – you kind of got the sense like part of that argument that those two teams were making was trying to avoid Clemson. Uh, Cedric, I don't think Clemson has the resume necessarily to be one or two, but there's some pretty clear evidence that Ohio State and LSU, I mean, does anybody want to play Clemson this time of year? If the Tigers were to win again this year, it'd be three championships in five years. That team is tough this time of year. I think those two at the top also wanted to avoid Clemson. I think so, too. And Davo Sweeney has been on a rampage lately, the Clemson coach saying they're, they're, they're saying that you know, we don't play anybody and this and that. And he's like, and Hunter Lawrence has lost it. He goes, Hunter Lawrence, Hunter Lawrence is better than he was last year. And so Clemson is on a mission to prove everybody wrong, to silence the haters, to, to blow out Ohio State <laughs> and then and then get after the LSU OU winner. I, I wouldn't want any piece of Clemson. I know they don't play in a in a really good league. I, I really don't think the ACC is that good this year, but Clemson is really good, and it's not where you're from, it's how you come. Yeah. And I think Clemson's coming with, with the big ammo for, for this CFP, and it wouldn't surprise me if Clemson won a national championship. I would not be shocked in the least. No, me, I, I totally agree with you. Yeah, I mean, I think that they're, again, their resume is not as good as Ohio State. It's not as good as LSU. I mean, LSU has arguably the best win in all of college football this year, going to Alabama, beating the Crimson Tide in Tuscaloosa. But Clemson may not have that kind of, uh, you know, star power on its resume with the ACC being where it is, so watered down, so weak. But I do think there's something about this time of the year for the Tigers. They know what it takes to win. Dabo Swinney and his group, they know how to structure, you know, their practices, their preparation. They know what to say. And now you've got a team that's the defending national champion, undefeated, playing the underdog card. You know, I just think it's a it's a perfect setup for Clemson. I don't know if they win at all, but I know they've got a lot of cards stacked in their favor. Absolutely. Uh, great quarterback, great running back in Travis Etienne, a swarming defense, and, and the hunger to repeat. Mm -hmm. And a coach who's very angry. I think, I think Dabo Swinney believes he has the best team in the country. And he's mad that no one else is agreeing with him. So 
Uh, the good thing about a CFP, it's not like what it was when we were growing up, Jen, where well, they play the bowl games and let the media or the coaches decide who won. It's going to be decided on the field. And uh, if I was a gambling man, and I am, I wouldn't, <laughs> I wouldn't bet against Clemson. I would stay far, far away from any of those games involving Clemson because I think the Clemson Tigers are talented, they are battle-tested, and, and, and they are hungry to get a win, to get a second championship uh, in, in two years, a repeat. That's hard to do these days. Yeah, I think Clemson would definitely have, a, have an argument to, you know, being the newest dynasty in college football if they were to win uh, this college football playoff. Right now, Cedric, I got to tell you, in these two games, I'm picking LSU, but I do think it's going to be interesting for one of the reasons you brought up, the fact that Texas had so much success against LSU. Oklahoma, a very, uh, you know, similar type of offense in terms of, you know, wanting to, to score quickly if they can, uh, running the ball. Texas has done that well. Uh, Oklahoma has turned more to a running team late in the year, the ability to pass, a defense that's improved uh, in Oklahoma, but I still think LSU a little bit better. In that other semifinal, I've gone back and forth. I think Ohio State is a splendid team, but for all the things we just talked about with Clemson, really hard to pick against the Tigers right now. I think it's going to be Tigers versus Tigers in the national championship wow. game. But who do you have winning these two semifinals? That's a great question. And, and you're the first person to ask me this, Jen, the very first. So I've long believed that LSU is the best team in the country. I have. And Ohio State, it's been 1A, 1B, depending on the week. Um, Got to go LSU over Oklahoma. They're better on defense. They have a pass rush that, that's going to get after Jalen Hurts. Jalen Hurts turns the football over. I mean, there's nothing. I mean, just call it what it is. Yeah. He had, he's got double-digit turnovers, I'm sure, this season. So I think that that defense is going to be the difference. And Joe Burrow is the best uh, player in the country. He will get it done against an improved defense, but a defense that can still be had. Uh, Ohio State, Clemson. Oh my God! Can't. That's the one that I, I I love watching OU, and we talked about it last week. I like Lincoln Riley. I like the Sooners. He's been on my podcast. We went over all of that. <laughs> OU LSU is a good game, but but Ohio State, Clemson. Yeah. That is a main event. Mm -hmm. That's gonna feel like the championship game to me. I think. Um, I, I didn't like what I saw out of Justin Fields early in the Big Ten yeah. game. Let's start on a lot of passes. If they can get a run game going with J.K. Dobbins, and if Chase Young can arise from his his little late season slumber, he hasn't really been a factor yeah. in the last couple of games. I'm going to have to go with Ohio State. I haven't seen a lot of Clemson. Like I said, I wouldn't bet against Clemson. But if you're asking me right now today to pick who I think is going to win that game, I'm going to go with Ohio State. They've been very consistent all year, and I, and I think that they'll be the best defense by far that these Tigers have faced. Yeah, that's a, that is, there's a reason that that semifinal between Ohio State and Clemson is the late game. It is in prime time. That is the matchup uh, of these two games. I think they're both going to be potentially really competitive games, but, man, you can't go wrong with – uh, with Ohio State, with Clemson, two of those powerhouse programs and matching up so well, I think it's going to be a heck of a ball game.